So you've been with the club about uh, six weeks now. How have you, uh, how have you found that time? Uh, no, I've really enjoyed it, actually. The, my whole time has been good. Um, obviously, results aside uh, on a couple of occasions. Um, I've been really, I felt really welcomed. Everyone here seems, uh, seems really great people from the, the playing staff to the backroom staff um, to all the office staff. I've, I've really enjoyed it. The setup's fantastic. Um, and honestly, I felt the, um, the, the, the atmosphere around the place has lifted and, and it's, it's, got, it's got better the, the longer I've been here. Um, obviously, it's hard. When, when results aren't going your way, but obviously a couple of positive results as well as you know everyone generally coming together and um, kind of enjoying each other's company and, and enjoying coming in and working hard and, and getting back to it. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a real nice experience so far. Has it been slightly frustrating in terms of the the cup games? Obviously, you, you start a run, in comes a cup game, you're cup tied, you have to miss that one. Uh, you know, does it affect your flow? Or is it something you, do you keep yourself ticking over in between time? It's definitely frustrating. I think that's that's certainly the right word. Um, just especially after last Saturday, you know, we had a fantastic result in the league. I, I felt I had probably one of my, my better performances in in a long time, aside from you know not scoring. I felt felt sharp and played really well. And then it comes and I get another ten day break. So it's definitely frustrating. But um, you know, I keep myself fit generally in, in reasonably good shape anyway. We're training hard. I'll be in tomorrow before the game doing a, doing some extra work with with Craig and obviously there's a few of the lads who can't play but um, yeah I think at, at the same time it, as long as we're winning these cup games it's, it's not really a problem because it keeps the momentum going it keeps everyone feeling positive and, and you know we, we build on these wins and if we can get another positive result tomorrow that makes it kind of three out of four and and everyone's feeling really good about it but from a personal point of view yeah it's frustrating um, playing in this cup already so did score in the game so you know it wasn't it wasn't the end of the world at the time but um you know, there's plenty of league games to come, and, and, and uh, it's, maybe this rest is going to do me the world of good. Let's take you back uh, seven days into that, that game at Hartlepool last week. <laughs> did it go as planned? Was it you know was it all as per game plan, or did, did you have to? No, I think adapt um, to it? I think it was it was a pretty pretty professional, um, very generally very good away performance. I think we um, we, we know Hartlepool's a big club. I um, mean, I played there in I think League One, so that can tell us the size of the club. Um, we knew they were going to have spells of, of the ball and, and spells of pressure on our goal. I think we soaked it up generally pretty well, um, and you know we hit them on the counter. And I think there was definitely more of a sense of us getting the ball down and playing. I think the surface was good. I think them trying to go a bit more direct perhaps gave us a bit more space and allowed us more time on the ball. And I think that also comes from. Um, everyone's confidence growing and everyone's looking a little more comfortable on the ball and everyone's wanting to get on the ball a bit more um, which helps obviously the, um, the, the the flow felt good attacking wise and I think even over the last three or four or five games now the defence themselves have looked absolutely solid um, you know we've, we've conceded some unlucky goals and, and you know at times we've maybe just switched off slightly but there wasn't even any signs of that I think we defended really well um, apart from the goal we conceded I think we'd be slightly disappointed with but it's just, you know, generally as a team, we went in with a game plan of, of maybe hitting them on the counter and we actually, we started off probably playing a little bit better than, than we expected to and, and kind of just grew from there and there and um, I didn't even feel particularly at the end, they had, a, they had a slightly sustained spell of pressure, but I never felt like we were ever going to concede, to be honest, it wasn't as though it was, it wasn't the Alamo, was it? It was, um, it was them, you know, chucking balls in our box and us dealing really well with it. So yeah, I think everyone was generally really pleased with, with how things went. I know you won on a on the score sheet yourself. Um, a lot of people highlight you there for the you know good hard working performance that you put in there. Yeah, it's, it's actually a position I um, I really like playing, and I, I played a lot of last season, kind of playing in in the nine role um, as a as a you know like a lone striker. Um, obviously, you would you would assume, given my size and attributes, it probably wouldn't be a role that that would suit me particularly well in a team that was you know playing long ball or um, you know going going direct and up against two big centre-halves but I think the way we're playing at the moment and the way we set out to play it's, it's something that you know could really work to my advantage because you know we, we turn teams early we, we play good quality balls in behind rather than up at people's heads and um, especially on a game when like I said we got the ball down a bit more and played it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a nice position to play because you kind of it takes slightly away your defensive responsibilities. You, obviously, there's a job to do on the centre halves, but it's more about you know occupying them in an attacking role and keeping them moving around and, and holding the ball up as well as you can when it comes. Um, so yeah, although I obviously from you know me for a few weeks now, you know I would love to have got on the score sheet. I think at the at the moment, any way we can contribute towards a win is is, is vital. And, and if that's you know laying on goals for other players, then then so be it. And um, you know, long may that continue if it has to. 
obviously first of three home games uh, tomorrow, so we've established you're not involved in that because of being cup tied, but you know, let's look ahead to next Tuesday, following Saturday, two big games, Maidenhead on the Tuesday, Dagnum uh, a week tomorrow. What's, you know, you, are you always starting to think for those yourself? I know yourself, I know it's all, managers always say they their game at a time, but from your own perspective, are you already focusing on uh, on Tuesday night? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, obviously, I've been focused on, on Tuesday's game. It's a massive game, like you said, since um, since we come off the pitch at Hartlepool, because I knew I wouldn't be able to play this week. But look, I think um, just to notice from doing my own research and obviously following non-league pretty closely anyway, I noticed, you know, the home form is, is a bit of an issue at the moment. We feel like the away performances since I've been here, even with the unlucky loss at Barrow, and obviously I come off injured at, at Dover, but the, the away performances have been pretty solid. Um, I don't know why that is because the crowd is fantastic. Obviously the, there's no problems with the pitch and the setup is, is, is brilliant. So I think we just need to to go into the games at home with the with the, the confidence we're going into the away games. We have you know take the pressure off a little bit, um, relax and just play our game and try and dictate games on our terms if you like because there's just been a sense and I, I have only started one home game but we're kind of letting teams come here and, and, and dictate the flow to us whereas um, I think I think it'll probably only take one win, maybe one or two good performances, and and, and you know we'll, we'll just click. I found that last year, at, at, um, Billy Ricky, we kind of well, I think we were probably playing worse than than the Maidstone team I mean have been playing recently, but we just had that knack of winning games, and I think that will come with experience and, and confidence, and we might just need one lucky break. Um, you know, three points Tuesday would obviously be massive, and and I think we just kick on from there because. Like I said, two two big massive games at home. Um, if we can turn this place into a to a bit of a fortress, then you know, you know, a couple with the away performances, I, I think we'll be in a, in a very good position. Jake, thanks so much for your time, and uh, good luck on Tuesday. Thanks, Ian. Thank you. Appreciate that.